Charles Sharp. And here at Razor Sharp Paper Company, our paper is really sharp. So sharp, in fact, that you might even say that you're writing on a knife. A knife, I say. A knife. Charlie Sharp and his crazy marketing ploys. The man wants sales, so he tells customers his paper can cut like a knife. I personally would refrain from buying knife paper, but who am I, just a lowly gumshoe to say. Old Chuck is hardly the craziest salesman we got to. He's a regular old cuckoo banana, that's true, but he's nothing when compared to Gaylord Pens and Pencils. Born for either the writing utensil business or the madhouse, he predictably chose the former. But the worst of the worst is easily the grade A nutso Victor McScissors. I was gonna need this information because <gasps> I had a case. Oh please, sir, I need your help. My dear, dear sweet sister has been killed. I heard words, but all I knew at that moment was she was hot. I started sweating under the arms the moment she walked in, but not in a gross way. I'd find her sister's killer. And the murderer, too. And she'd have no choice but to love me. I had never seen anything like it. A hefty girl getting crushed to death by just a few fallen boxes. There had to be something else going on. We had to go to the morgue and check it out. We have to go to the morgue and check it out. Okay, just find those bastards. I had nothing. I got everything! There are three main suspects. Gaylord Pens and Pencils, Victor McScissors, and Charlie Sharp. Okay. Sit down, sweet cheeks. I think your sister was poked to death by Pens and Pencils brand. Pens and Pencils. All right, let's go. Wind's out of the south, boss. I This fruit loop blocking my shot. I'm gonna service you, mate. Cut the crud, peas and peas. You know I'm here. Dead for the sorry. My lot of wine. It was clear he was playing games with me, like a cat would with a slightly smaller cat. But I had to wrestle some information out of him. I knew nothing. Well, Kenny, looks like we're going to need a pitching wedge. It's clear that you're playing games with me, you, you crackpot. Now tell me why you killed him. What was your name? Uh, Dolly. Yes, thanks, yes. What was her name? Gwen? What kind of name is that? Oh, Gwen. Oh, no. Helen, ah, Helen, ah, ah. Why'd you kill Helen? Afraid I don't know what you're talking about. The chunky girl that laid dead in your pens and pencils brand. Pens and pencils. Boy, everybody uses my pens and pencils in this town. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 
He was right. How'd the killer get full wholesale boxes of pencils? Well, how'd the killer get full wholesale boxes of pens? And pencils. They ordered them. Boy. Oh God, I'm gonna see that old lady down the way. I'm gonna have to see the sales receipts for the last two weeks. Well, I guess it's your lucky day, mate. My caddy's got my head in my bag. last two people to order pencils wholesale were Charlie Sharp and Victor McScissors. I am beginning to look like less of an idiot. Yeah, lad. You been to share with the class? Well, it appears that the last two people to purchase wholesale boxes of pencils from you were Victor McScissors and Charlie Sharp. I'm beginning to look like less of a nut. Well, well, it seems you're clear. Well, go get him, champ. Oi! That's right, Bob! Was I asleep? Had I slept? Yep, back to work. As I picked her up in my 86 Chrysler on November 14th, 1958, I knew that today we would find her sister's killer, and also the murderer. It was cold, like a really cold winter. She had been standing outside like a lady of the night. I could tell, because her turkeys were done. That was fine with me. She tried to sit in my lap as soon as I stood up. The broad was finally falling for me. Like a ball falling in love with the ground when you drop it. Where are we going, Sparky? I had to think fast. Ice cream. Uh, okay. Damn it, Mickey, where's the girl? Ha, huh, you know where she is. She was killed under a pile of your boxes. Tell me where she is, Mickey. It wasn't me. And my name isn't Mickey. It's Victor. My mom named me Victor. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> did he do it? Are, are you sure? Oh, um, I guess this gets you off the hook. Have a nice day. It was finally coming to what I like to call gather, but I was hungry for a sandwich. We made a fish sandwich once in Alaska. I went with my uncle to go deep sea fishing in Fairbanks. We caught a 10 foot walleye, biggest fish I ever caught, made for a big old sub sandwich. I learned that you'll never get anything you want unless you catch up. <gasps> it was Charlie Sharp and her razor sharp paper. I knew there was a reason we were going to her house. Ah. So where are we're we? going to Razor Sharp Paper Company. Oh, this is gold, this is gold, Hollywood, here I come. They will never forget the name, Connor Lockenbrook and Heimenstein.